Good afternoon. Welcome to the Unto Theo Lord Ministries channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. Please consider contributing to the ministry for our primary ministry is to help the ones in jail or in nursing home. And when we go to those local jails and nursing homes, we need Bibles and other printings to hand out to these that are so often overlooked. Please help us reach these needed souls. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the video description. We are also looking to partner with a few Christian businesses as an affiliate. Look into the video description for happier links. Thank you. Good evening, friends, neighbors, brothers, and sisters in Christ. Thank you for stopping in at my channel. And, and, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the two different types of that of a, a prophecy. I have been noticing that people, when I talk to them on Facebook, seems to understand that there's only one type of it is of it is of it is of a well it's a prophecy. Okay, but that is not necessarily the case. There are two types. There is there is one in which in which Jesus spoke of whenever he said that uh, th there is not going to be one stone left upon a and another whenever that that physical temple gets uh, basically de destroyed he did not say of the wind but he did say that it will happen Okay, there is also a lot of other it is oh it is oh it is of prophecies. A book of Revelation is full of them. A book of it is oh Daniel is full of them. And so is Isaiah and a few other books are full of uh it is oh it is of prophecies. Okay, and almost all of them is that it will happen. There is no if then kind of um, terms being used. I say if then because I took one class in a computer programming and it was in it is of it is of a lesser Pascal. And one of the codes I had to write for class it was a if then kind of code. If this happens, then do this, or else do this. It is if, then, else. Or else was it or else, but it was if, then, and, and uh, but if all this isn't, then do this. But that is... But this is the second kind of prophecy that there is, and we find this particular type of prophecy whenever it came to it is of it is of Jonah whenever he was told by God to go to it is of Nineveh, and God have said, if they do not repent, then they will be destroyed. Okay, did you catch that? Do you understand that there is a, a difference between absolute prophecy and the if-then? If you do not repent, then this will happen. And in that case, it was the that if you do not repent, then you will be destroyed. We don't see too many of those within the Word of God, but 
we do see those on a rare occasion. And so, therefore, whenever we read about the Zola's prophecy, we have to make sure that uh, it is not an if-then kind of situation because not always will it be an absolute prophecy. Too many people wants to then try to proclaim a absolute prophecy whenever it is not a absolute prophecy. That is the thing about Ellen G. White whenever she made a couple of uh, prophecies which was supposed to have happened before 1900, but they didn't happen. Those were absolutes in which what she said, and that makes her a false, false that makes her that of a false a, a prophet, simply because of that right there. It was made as an absolute prophecy. So then, therefore, whenever we read, uh, read, read about prophecy, we are needing to make sure that we catch all the words. It isn't just taking that of the prophecy as one big statement. We have to pay attention to every single word. Uh, like, for example, Revelation 13, I believe, uh, it is in it is oh, listen, Revelation 13. I just need to find out what verse it is. It is the very last verse. Okay. Well, not the very last verse. It is almost... Uh, Revelation 13, 16. Okay. And he causeth all, bo bo all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to then receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Not on, but in. Okay? That is, this right here, it is that of the King James. Some of the other versions, let me look at the, the it is a little parallel, I have got that of a, a e sword on my laptop, which means I can look at several different versions to then see what it is they got and uh, and for some of those uh, Bibles that of the term version fits perfectly, but for others it is not really a version as we know it to a day. It is more of a translation. There is a difference in our modern English language between version and translation. Back in the late 1500s, I have looked up the word version, and uh, it have talked that of the language as if it was a translation, that of the definition of a translation. Well, in... 500 years and a different country that has changed. That was and, 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 I, and uh, I do not remember where at that word originated from but in the England English version meant the same as translation. And so it is a it is a it is a, well, it's a Bible uh, it is a, well, it's a translated all the way up to probably the up until the early eighteen hundreds. I will accept version because in the England's English, it means a translation, or it meant. I haven't looked to and see if at all that has changed to or not. That is something that I should check out. 
But after that, the version is a... It has got a different meaning, and so any of the uh, the Bibles written after 1800 will then fall under the new uh, um, definition. But according to the Textus Receptus, within this particular prophecy, it's not on, but it's in, okay? the hand, or the forehead. Okay. With, uh, which this would say that of the barcode being printed on, that isn't going to be it. Because it's on the skin and not in. But, okay, let me check that out of the parallel. Nope, not parallel. A, a compare lot like I was saying. I have got e sword on my upon my laptop, and I have done that of a video about e sword, and that is let me find it. It should be one, two, a number thirteen. 13-E-Sword. Go ahead and uh, uh, check it out because this is a really good it is a it is a lesser program. It has got more than 20 it is a lesser translations free. You can uh, pay 99 per, cents per each for each one after that. But uh, there is about 20 Two different translations that you can download for free. One of them being the that of the King uh, King James Edit, which that is the one I use. But to that of the compare that of the ABP. It uh, says there should be given to them an imprint upon. their right or upon their foreheads. That of the A that of the ASV says on. That of the BBE says on. A uh, bishops says in C E V Mark on. A uh, D Harby says Hmm. It, it doesn't really say free and bond that they should give them a mark upon. Okay, it says upon. Uh, DRB on. EMTV on. ERV on. ESV on. ESV plus on. It is over listed. Geneva says in. Uh, GNB on it is a list of GW on ISV on it is a list of G it is a list of G Jubilees. I think that's what it is. Let me double check. Uh, hmm, I think that is what it is. JUB it says N. I, uh, oh, of course we know what the King James translation says in uh, KJVA hmm, says in LEB on LITV on MKJV on Murdoch on RV on TLV Oh, let's see. Upon. Uh, w E B. On. Uh, Webster. On. With Williams. On. Y L T. That uh, that uh, of the Young's literal translation. Um. Upon. So. 
yeah, they are small words, but they change the meaning of that entire verse. Prophecy, not only it is there two different kinds, we have to pay attention to even the smallest word. Whenever we don't pay attention to the smallest of words, like on and in, we don't know what is going on. It is that changes the word period. Now then, let's see what uh, what Hipster's dictionary says what uh, the word upon means. Okay, upon, up and on, upwards so as to get or be on. So it is not saying in, it's on. This is why people it ends up it is a it is a it is a well, well, let's just study prophecy for years because because we and I am one of them I have been studying prophecy now for the last six or seven years now and and it is important, very important, to the, know the types and to understand every word, even if it means going to the Greek or to the Hebrew, taking a look at the original word so that we can better understand it. And that takes a lot of time. I am no Greek or a Hebrew expert. I have taken two a, 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 two lesser classes of each, and so I know how to do the research for it. I know what I am looking for when I do the research. Other people that has got that edit of a doctorate in it can just look at it and then know exactly what it is. I have to do the research for it. But do you see how that one word changing just a little from end to on changes the entire meaning of Revelation 13, 16. Wow. Let's pay attention to the words too. Not only that it is prophecy, but to the words being used. Thank you. Thank you, and have a great day.